Hello everyone, it's Miros and today we'll talk about Apple beta updates. As Apple event WWDC coming, we need to talk about iOS 15. Apple Worldwide Developers Conference is an information technology conference held annually by Apple. And in that conference, Apple usually introduce new iOS version, which will be 15. So, we are now using iOS 14.7, which is beta update of course, regular customers are using 14.5. After this event, iOS 15 will be pushed to all the early testers. And we are expecting a lot from this iOS 15, but this will be something which I will make another video with everything new on iOS 15. So today I will just show you if you are one of these guys which want to test early versions of iOS. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's jump in. Let's go to settings and here we can check which version we are using. General, about and you can see that I'm using software version 14.7 and this is a beta version. Here we also have that menu profile, iOS 14 beta software profile which means I already have that beta software profile and today I will show you how you can do this on your iOS device. To become a beta tester of Apple products you need to go to their website, of course link will be in video description so check first there, you can see I am using Chrome browser, don't use it, use Apple Safari browser for this, here it is Safari. That's the link we are searching for Apple Beta Software Program. Here guys, what's written? Help make the next release of iOS, iPadOS, MacOS, TVOS and WatchOS our best yet. As a member of the Apple Beta Software Program, you can take part in shaping Apple software by testing, driving, pre-release, version and letting us know what you think. How do I participate? As a member of the Apple Beta Software Program, you will be able to enroll your device to access the public betas and try out the latest features. You can provide feedback directly to Apple using the Feedback Assistant app. So be active and provide a feedback to Apple. You need to sign in with your Apple account. So sign in. Ok, when you are signing with your account, here, guide for public betas, the Apple beta software program lets you try pre-release software and provide feedback to help us make it even better. In this guide you will find information on the latest beta releases and how to get started. Check back regularly for updates. Alright, here you need to select your operating system, iOS, iPadOS, MacOS, TVOS, WatchOS and that's everything. Now we are trying for iOS, when you select your OS, iOS, just scroll down and here you will find get started. Here it's written everything you need to know, get started and provide feedback, diagnostics and usage data and of course backup your iOS device. Before we start just back up your device because guys this is a beta software, it always has a bugs or even worse you can lose your data. Make a backup of everything before you start. So here where you can see get started you will see with the blue letters enroll your iOS device. Just tap here and again scroll down. Here you will see on the second step install profile from your iOS device go to betaapple.com profile to download the configuration profile your iOS device will notify you when the profile has been downloaded open settings tap the profile and follow the on-screen instructions to allow installation that's it so select download profile yep give it permissions it's ready guys remember always use Apple Safari browser. With Chrome browser it won't work or any else browser. Just use Safari browser. And of course before you tap here download profile you should be locked in with your 
Apple account. All right, when we are ready here, just go to your home screen and select settings. Just below your profile, you will find the profile downloaded. Tap on it and select install. Let's tap on it. Of course, you need to enter your password. There is a message here and select install. Select install, restart required and you need to restart your device. Ok, once profile is installed you can go to settings. Here you can see that download profile is already missing because we install it now. You can go to general, software update and of course check for updates. iOS 14.7 is up to date because I already installed the latest beta for my device. And that was it. Just install it and you are ready. Of course guys, probably after release of iOS 15 you won't receive at the same day that update because this is public beta. If you want to receive it at the same day you need to be Apple developer and that's something else. Of course again you need to go to the same website. Here is the developer page. Guys, from here again it is the same. You can download your profile and install it, but remember, it's paid. It costs $100 for a year, so you need to pay Apple $99 or $100 for one year just to be a developer. Of course, I'm not, so I will wait for public betas and install it on my device. This is how you can get iOS updates on the same day after WWDC. When they release iOS 15 beta, you will receive it immediately, but you should pay for developer account. So I'm not paying, I will wait for public beta to be out. When it's out, of course I will make an in-depth video about iOS 15 and all the new features. Probably I can make a video what we can expect from iOS 15 next week after they release it. But for now, this is just a video how you can enroll in Apple beta updates. You already know, you can go now and make your device to receive Apple beta updates. Alright guys, this was it. If this video helps you, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.